on account of my staying indoors so much to avoid the nuclear waft from Fukushima, uh, I figured I would play some video games. And um, I don't know, one of my favorite video games of all time was Tony Hawk, uh, Tony Hawk uh, Pro Skater. And I um, figured I would uh, reconquer the game and uh, try to match my high score on. What is it called? The warehouse level, I think it is, and um, uh, somewhere up around 700,000 points for one round, one two-minute round, and um, I wasn't having such an easy time playing with my keyboard. Yeah, uh, the the PlayStation controller is just uh, uh, it's a little bit easier to handle than you know trying to input to you know the flatness of the keyboard. So. Um, I figured I would get one of these, which is um, you plug the PlayStation controller into this, which is called a twin uh, PS to PC adapter. Um, I think that's exactly what it's called. I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up on eBay right now just to make sure I got the got the right name there. Okay, it's um, on eBay, they're calling this a, um, a PS2, PSX, PS1, PlayStation 2 to USB PC adapter converter. And um, there's a simpler name for it somewhere around here. Um, oh yeah, in my, um, in my control panel, lists a, a short name for it. In my control panel, going to printer is another hardware, going to game controllers, and it's called a twin PS to PC converter. And uh, I was having a hard time getting it installed. It took me half a day to figure out how to get this thing installed. Um, I don't know. I guess this this requires this other little bit of information is that I'm I'm playing these PlayStation games on my computer on my PC. And that's why it's a PS PlayStation to PC uh, personal computer adapter. And um, this is uh, I'll show you this real quick. This uh, this line is coming from that, and it goes right up here and plugs into my USB port. So I'm pretty sure everybody knows what a USB is. And um, show you what I did to get it installed. I'll, I'll include the links on where to download this software, which is called EPSXE, which is a PlayStation emulator. It allows you to play PlayStation games on your computer with that you can either download the PlayStation games from you know various torrents that are available online, or you can download the PlayStation games from uh, let me see, or you can get the PlayStation games from CDs that you already have, and that makes it all perfectly legal to play the CDs that you already own. You can also buy PlayStation games online for like $4 per PlayStation game. There's emulators that do PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 games. I don't have one of those installed. I have the original PlayStation uh, emulator. Uh, it's the um, an emulator of the original PlayStation. Okay, and this is the icon that I put on my desktop. And um, you see, to get the controller installed, up here you go to config, go to gamepad, port one, pad one, and then you uh, you click inside one of these boxes and it, it'll drop the cursor there. I don't know if you see the cursor blinking. And then uh, this button on your control pad. Uh, maybe I'll be able to get this all on the same frame. Uh, I hit that and the, cu the cursor jumped from the right to the left hand side which means it accepted that setting. And then if I place the cursor into the next box and I hit that button and it jumps there and it says that that has been configured. Um, how this was all configured before is 
uh, each of these boxes was filled with a letter or a number or an arrow on my keyboard. So that's how, uh, how it is configured by default is uh, there's like a, a group of buttons that you're supposed to use in your keyboard and I found that they were so you know grossly misconfigured. Um, it, it's, uh, I don't know, I, I configured them different on my keyboard when I first started working with this and then uh, I decided I was gonna get a controller and the controller makes it all you know so very much easier it's you know uh, especially playing uh, Tony Hawk that you know I have muscle memory in my fingers to say you know what all has to happen in order to you know make what move happen when and um, you know the the keyboard was not facilitating it and the layout that they had of the keyboard by default uh, was even uh, I, I don't know it was worse than just having to work with my keyboard and so I came up with my own keyboard configuration and uh, I don't know, so I knew about this little window but I couldn't figure out how to get the controller to accept the the settings that are on this and so that's what I figured out is you come into this configuration and then you know you click in the appropriate box and then you put the uh, you operate that button on the on the controller and that's how it is that's how you get it all set up so that you can um, uh, say so you can uh, use a controller to play the uh, the PlayStation games on your emulator and um, I don't know one more thing that's uh, it's a good bit of knowledge for this is see uh, BitTorrent. Um, okay, I don't know where I installed it to on my start menu, so uh, this is the, that's the icon there. It's on my quick launch toolbar. And I'm um, bringing it up right now. Uh, in PlayStation 1 they don't have, or in uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 for PlayStation, uh, they don't have the option to do manuals, which is um, uh, on place uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, which is uh, this download. And I'm downloading with BitTorrent. Um, I don't know, BitTorrent, you just install it, and then when you go looking for you know, stuff that you're trying to find online, that's like a digital file. Uh, in this case, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Um, you go to, uh, you go to Google, and you just put in, like, whatever the name of whatever it is you're trying to find, and then you put in torrent, and then it'll, um, it'll give you, you know, hopefully a, a link for a torrent. Sometimes you find places where they want to charge you in order to be able to access their service or something like that, and you just skip those and try to find some, you know, some other, uh, option on Google, but, um... I don't know, once you click on a torrent file, if you have BitTorrent installed, it will automatically uh, download with BitTorrent. And um, I was reading that the um, the copyright on video games is 75 years. So uh, yeah, these video games they're still going to be in copyright for like however long. Um, what's hopeful about the situation is though that um, you know, even though where I see that as gross corruption that you know they uh, they're coming out with new games all the time new new game systems and like you know it's gonna be 75 years before you can play the old games for free ridiculous um, I don't know so yeah um, I don't know I, I had um, I had been aware of this since like the early days of uh, of the internet, you know, uh, like back in the the mid to late 90s when um, they uh, when they first came out with the DMCA, yeah, you know, the Digital Millennial uh, Copyright Act. Um, you know, when when they were uh, debating that, it, I, it came to my attention that. Um, they were not going to outlaw downloads. That they um, they outlawed people making 
downloads available. So that'd be uh, the upload end of the of the equation. And uh, there's nothing that's been written into law which has made illegal downloads. Um, I don't know, for example, you go to like eBay and their, um, their corporate logo is copyrighted. So, you know, if they wrote into, uh, if they wrote into the law that it was illegal to download stuff, then every time you download uh, a corporate logo, you'd be, uh, you'd be in violation of the law. You know, uh, those are all copyrighted, uh, you know, uh, copyrighted digital um, media. You know, and so, um, you know, they, they did not uh, make illegal downloading, but uh, what they did do is they made illegal, um, let me see, uh, granting wide access to the, um, I don't know, to the materials, like if you, if you broadcast, if you publish, if you upload copyrighted material that you're making it available to other people who do not own the copyright, then that is illegal. Uh, that's what the Digital Millennial Copyright Act established, is that, um, I don't know, before where, um, I don't know, there, uh, where it was illegal to just copy stuff, meaning to, like, uh, record your records onto a tape and, uh, you know, not a mixtape, you know, a tape that, you know, has some type of artistic integrity where it's a, a new, um, it's a new artistic, um, I don't know, expression made with other people's music, you know, not something like that, where it's just, you know, other people's music, you know, just like the song and then, you know, then a blank space and then the song. Uh, they made it illegal to make copies of other people's copyrighted material and then uh, to sell those copies. And that was the Copyright Act of 1979. But what, um, what they did with the Digital Millennial Copyright Act is that uh, they made it illegal to uh, grant wide access to uh, people who obviously do not own the copyright. So uh, what these torrent programs are now doing is the torrent programs um, you know, they, uh, they are organized so that um, if, if you're not uploading, which is the illegal act, if you're not like giving other people your music for free, you know, like saying your music, the music that you have collected that is copyrighted by other people, uh, if, you're, uh, if you're not uploading, then they won't let you download. And so, um, you know, they, they have made it so that you cannot download without, um, I don't know, without, uh, without operating criminally. You know, that you have to make your files available to other people in order to, um, in order to be able to download. Now, there was a program back in the day, Morpheus, where it was a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing uh, application, and uh, they had um, they had the ability to configure their software where you could download but not upload, and you know that would make it you know uh, perfectly legal to to download, uh, as they have not outlawed downloading. You know, copyrighted uh, you know, materials, but um, you know I have not been able to find a torrent application that allows you to strictly download and not upload. You know, uh, so, like the uh, the people who have been producing the torrent software, they've been producing software that is intent to uh, snag people up in criminality. Uh, that the they don't have the option to do the legal stuff, the downloading, unless they're doing the illegal stuff, the uploading. And um, I guess I'll include a couple links as to um, you know, my knowledge, uh, I don't know, my recent uh, search uh, that backs the knowledge that I have that uh, it is not illegal to download. You know, there has been no laws written that make it illegal to download. I have found though that the uh, the music industry 
They have been, uh, they have been bringing people into court, you know, especially disabled people, people who, you know, they really don't have too uh, strong a clue about anything, and you know, they they're not going to offer, you know, some real strong uh, resistance in court. They've been pr uh, bringing people into court and suing them for downloading. And downloading has never been made illegal. And um, I don't know. So I guess what they would do with that is that they, you know, they would either, you know, have it tried before a stupid judge or a judge that's in their pocket that they bribe the judge in order to arrive at the conclusion that they're trying to find. But, um, you know, they, it seems to me what they're trying to do is they're trying to establish precedent. Uh, legal precedent so that they're able to you know point to you know other places where they won whatever you know uh, whatever decision from whatever judge to say that downloading is illegal you know that they have now been suing people for downloading uh, in Britain they have written laws that that criminalize downloading uh, in Canada downloading is absolutely um, uh, it's absolutely legal and uh, there hasn't been any encroachment by the uh, by the recording industry uh, in order, you know, that they they're trying to manipulate the law. You know, they they haven't been trying to sue people for downloading in Canada, but uh, in the United States, where it's legal by the writ of the law, they're still trying to use the egregiously corrupt courts to prosecute people for downloading. And, you know, if they get some stupid people in there that, you know, they don't fight it hard enough and they don't realize what the law is, then, you know, they will go ahead and, um, you know, they'll be uh, subject to whatever it is that uh, the, um, the, legal, uh, the legal regime, uh, whoever that might be, uh, that they uh, intend to impose on, you know, these people that are not able to defend themselves. I don't know, so, uh, you know, take it with a grain of salt, you know, uh, if you can find an application out there to download that uh, you're not uploading, then you'd be within uh, the confines of the law, but probably you won't be able to, and um, I don't know, I did find one application uh, to download torrents that uh, it wasn't worth anything, that um, you actually have to write uh, torrent files yourself in order to be able to get it to work and so you know, I kind of gave up on it and um, I haven't found anything else that was comparable so uh, I don't know I'm stuck with BitTorrent and what I, what I have done is I have reduced my BitTorrent to um, not upload very much at all that you know, if people are trying to uh, get the upload you know that I am downloading then uh, um, it's only being uploaded at a very low KB, kilobytes per second, rather than like megabytes or gigabytes. Um, you know, that um, I, I set a daily limit on the amount that I would upload. And so, uh, I don't know, this Tony Hawk Pro Skater uh, 2 download that I've been doing, it took me like a week so far, and it's only at 54%. Uh, but, um, I don't know, eventually I'll get that downloaded and then I'll be uploading some Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 uh, instructional uh, files, uh, some uh, tutorials on how to play Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 uh, to go along with the uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, uh, the original um, I don't know, files that I've been uploading. I don't know if you guys have been seeing that on my channel, but uh, I got some uh, THPS uh, videos and uh, I'm continuing with uh, updating tutorials on on how to do each level and uh, attain each tape in each level yeah I don't know so that's about the extent of that